All right, so in this video, we're gonna be going over some 1979 Susan B. Anthony dollars that sold for a lot of money. Now, most of these coins are not gonna be worth too much money, but in this video, I'm gonna show you some examples that sold for a lot of money. So here we have a 1979D, $1 Susan B. Anthony coin. And now this one was created by NGC, a mint state 68. That D mint mark on the left side of the coin stands for the Denver Mint, where this coin was minted. Depending on where your coin was minted will depend on how much your coin is gonna be worth, but a bigger factor will be the grade. The highest grade we can get in grading is 70. This one's only two points away from that perfect grade of 70 at this 68 grade, and this coin sold for $1,527. Up next, we have a 1979S Susan B. Anthony coin. Now, this one graded by PCGS and MS68. Again, two points away, but this one was struck at the San Francisco Mint. That's what that S mint mark stands for. Also, remember, when you sell your coin really does matter in combination with the other factors like the date, the mint mark, and the grade. This one sold for $3,000 $1,818, which is a lot of money for a Susan B. Anthony coin. This one pretty straightforward. If you ever see a Susan B. Anthony coin that looks like this, you could have something with a lot of money. This 1979S Susan B. Anthony dollar coin was accidentally struck on a cent planchet graded by PCGS at Mint State 64, and it sold for $7,475. Here we have a 1979P $1 Susan B. Anthony coin. Now, this one has the P mint mark. Typically, you will not see a P mint mark on coins. You will just see no mint mark, and that means the coin was minted at the Philadelphia Mint. This one graded by PCGS at Mint State 67 plus. That plus designation may not seem like a big deal, but it does increase the value. All these things combined allowed this coin to sell for $6,462. Hit that subscribe button. It really does help out. I'll see you back with them. Thank you for more, and I'll see you in the next video.